guys, it's the new family back again with another DIY. And this is gonna be a collab with Mama Daz Life, Handmade and Domestic Diva 76. Hope you guys enjoy what we have in store. Here are a few supplies that we're gonna be using today. Some Mod Podge, some glitter of your choice, and a paper and pencil. <laughs> a cute little bottle from the Dollar Tree that comes in a pack of seven. And let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and dump some glitter inside our little bottle. Next, we're gonna grab that pencil and paper and we're gonna write um, fairy dust, if that's of your choice. We chose to do so here. And you're gonna see why we have a nice little surprise for you guys. Here, we're gonna burn the ends um, to make it seem as if it's been on quite a journey. Definitely wanna make sure we distress it just a bit. And here's the final result. Next, we're gonna take the Mod Podge, put it on the paper and adhere it to our bottle. It looks pretty nice here, but we're not just finished just yet. Right here, you're going to take the ear loop and push it through all the way through the um, cork. And now you're going to just like loop it around so you can hang it. She did an amazing job here, right guys? <laughs> I think she was trying to add on a bead, but it was discarded later on after she decided it wasn't what she quite wanted for this piece. Here we're gonna take it outside and get a little dirty so it can look like it's been worn. Right here I'm gonna mosh podge it so make sure when the water hits it, it doesn't wash off the writing. Right here you see me grab a popsicle stick and grab some E6000 and rub it around the cork so it stays in place and doesn't come apart. Here she can be seen pushing it through the loop with a piece of twine so that it can be hung in somewhere in the fairyland. Next we're gonna start our DIY with a repurposed pickle jar. I hope you guys enjoy this. So we're gonna take the lid off and we're gonna take a larger piece of twine and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around and tie it into a knot. Next, you need about four to six times the length of your jars. Here, I'm gonna loop it through the existing rope that we initially tied onto the jar with a loose fit. And I'm gonna take it and wrap it and then pull it back through the actual loop that we just made. We're gonna do this about six times. That was what I needed for the width of my jar. Um, yours may vary. Here, 
here, you're gonna see me take my two fingers, wrap the rope around my two fingers and pull it through the side. And then it's gonna make another existing knot. We're gonna continue to do this all the way around until we have all ropes um, conjoining. And what you're gonna do is take one rope from each side of the loop that you initially made. continue to do this until we reach the bottom of our jar. Here I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint the lid black so that we can cover the jar when we're ready to store. And next we're going to glue the end pieces to the bottom. The reason why I had to actually glue was because I did not have enough rope but we're gonna make it work. Here, I'm gonna unravel the rope, and next, we're gonna be braiding all of the pieces together. It's nice to have a helper for this, but if you don't have a helper, you can definitely take the jar and set it on top and just be gentle while braiding. And here we actually have the pieces all together. And as you can see, the jar was sitting on top as I was discussing earlier. My rope that I braided was a little too long, so I cut it in half and we're gonna fold it over onto each other. And then we're gonna glue it around the hanging pieces from our original knot that we started at the beginning of this project. Next, we're just gonna get some hot glue and we're gonna glue all the loose frill pieces down on top of the braided rope. Now we need to cover up the unsightly end pieces. So we're gonna do this with that additional rope that we had that was already braided. And we're just gonna hot glue it down and wrap it around. Be careful um, about the hot glue. I would definitely use finger protectors. They have some at the Dollar Tree. I didn't have mine's handy, so I just work with what was on hand so that I can get this video out to you guys. I hope you're enjoying, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here's how we decided to display our pieces. We definitely are enjoying this, and <laughs> it looks like someone else's as well. This was a fun collab. I hope you guys go out and check out the playlist of all the other talented YouTubers.